By now, millions of Americans across the country have learned about Corey Comparator's last heroic moments, shielding his family from gunfire. But tonight in Sarver, some of those who knew him best say that was always in his nature. He did what a good father would do. He protected those you love. He's a true hero for us all. At just 50 years old, Corey Comparator had so much more to give to those around him. There's just so much grief in this. A 10-year veteran of the Army Reserves and former volunteer fire chief, Corey embodied the word service. But above all, he was a family man, a girl dad. We got a sense of that, hearing Corey's own words, read tonight by his friend Dan Ritter, who recalled a Facebook post from 2017. Every day, I'm thankful for today and each Father's Day. I reflect on how truly blessed I am. And then there's the post Corey dedicated to his wife on a recent anniversary. On July 22nd, 2016, his words. 21 years ago, I married my best friend, standing at altar that day. I had no idea the past we would travel together over the years. We have experienced the most trying times, the most joyful times. And if God's will, we will continue on the journey together. And there is no one else that I would rather be with. Happy anniversary, honey. I love you always. Corey's funeral on Friday will be private, but there is a public visitation for those who want to pay their respects. That will be tomorrow, and the details are on our website, WTAE.com. Reporting from Sarver, Mike Valenti. Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Mike, thank you. And tonight we do have an update on the conditions of the two surviving gunshot victims. Allegheny General Hospital sharing that James Copenhaver and David Dutch have been upgraded from critical to serious condition. The family of David Dutch releasing a statement saying, quote, David and our entire family are especially grateful to all the first responders and medical personnel who saved his life, including the life flight and trauma surgical teams at AGH. As we focus on David's recovery, we also offer our deepest condolences and prayers for the other victims of this tragic event and their families.